Right, I'm on what's called the Centenary Path. And it goes all the way back down to Porlock where I've come. And plus there was another route that I probably would have tried to explore if I go back this way. I always like to do something different. Or I might follow the other path back down. I've seen a valley, you know, just to get... Well, I'll just see how I feel. If I'm feeling really knackered by I get time to get, get to this church, I might just get the, take the quickest route back and it will be downhill. But I know there's still hill to climb because I've got to sort of go down and curve round and all that yet on Flory's track. A lot of the tracks are named after the the Holdenicott estate people uh, as I've videoed and captured many images of the Hutton Monument last year. So this is Exmoor everyone. This is Sheila above Porlock. Bossington Hill over there, which I will be visiting, and over there will be Woods and Colbone, which is another trip I'm going to do possibly tomorrow, that one. And then the last one I'll be doing Saturday will be Minehead along the cliff top. That's going to be the best weather, um, which is safer to, to do it in the best weather. <sighs> right now this is where things go wrong sometimes because um, they run out of signs so I'm just going to put my glasses on because they haven't accounted for this particular turning here <sighs> yeah there's um, Selworthy Church over there which I visited I'll just zoom in a minute. There's the white tower and church over there is so worthy. A beautiful church. There's a manor house there and a place I had a nice tea with cake and, and stuff and a sandwich. Yeah, I wandered all around there. On the walk I was doing, I included that in the walk. So, but I won't be doing it this year, that. No, I'm not repeating stuff I've already captured. But here, they haven't accounted for this, so I just take it, I carry on. Do you know what I mean? But it did say about turning off, so I've just got to turn off a minute and check. Okay, I'm, I've come down off a of tarmac road, which is obviously people can drive up here. There is a place up there you could park. You don't actually have to hike up here like me, but I like to leave Alberta stationary while I'm doing all the windy bits. I don't like leaving her out in the middle of nowhere anyway. People. Anyway, right ahead, which is very sunny, so it can't be seen, is Dunkery Beacon. Now, my mission today is not to do Dunkery Beacon, as I mentioned before. I did it last year, and I've done that. I've been all round that way. I've done a massive walk. I did a massive walk. It's <sighs> a nice little stone, isn't it? I did a massive walk last, last year. I think I kept, the first time I came out here was before I came to stay and I just I came out for the day and I did Dunkery Beacon. And I realised after I'd done it and walked all up and down and all that that I, it was a lot to do in one day and then drive back home to Weston. So that's when I decided later in that summer I would come back. I've actually climbed, there's a glistening track ahead. Climbed up that one. All the way up to the beacon. I had also been all in the woods down there and all the way around I came to near something called Weber's Post. And I looked over where I am now and thought, oh, I'd love to be able to do all that. You know? So, uh, yeah, that snake bend going all the way up. I think that's Robin's Hill, that bit. I think we might see, Dunkley Beacon might actually be further around. Um, this guy's looking a bit iffy. Right, hold on. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, now that's called Robin Howe, I think, that, which I never got on. Now that isn't Dungry Beacon. I don't think it is, because the road's on the wrong side. That's why they didn't know it. It'll be another one. It'll be up a bit higher, a bit further. Right, so this is Exmoor, everyone. Again, as I've mentioned several times. Um, I'm having to keep referring to the notes. Yeah, no, it's not. It'll be round. It'll be visible. Don't worry when I get round this corner, apparently. No, that's what's called uh, Robin Howe, which I never got on. climbing up at any of that. I'll be coming back down a valley later. Yeah. The weather's looking very worrying. Uh, so I'm doing a bit of video now because if it starts raining I've got to put the camera away. Now I've brought the umbrella and waterproof trousers and a Mac. So I'm hoping uh, I can plow on and get to this church before water hits skin and clothing. I've got everything wrapped up in carrier bags, plastic bags. I haven't got a cover for my rucksack, um, unfortunately. I have got a black bag, which I was thinking of putting over it, if it's possible. Tucking in round it or something. You can get covers. I expect this is very windy on the camera. I haven't seen anybody walking at all. There's nobody out. Back over there we've got Bossington Hill, we've got the beach we walked on last night. There's a big ship out there. Let's zoom in quickly. Looks like a liner actually as opposed to a tanker I think. Let's have a look. Oh I don't know, it might be a tanker. It's got a name on it. Something. I can't read it, but I'll be able to pick it up when I uh, actually get it on the um, on the computer. I'll be able to read that. I can't read it. I haven't got my glasses on. I can't read view the viewfinder with my glasses on for some reason. Ah, hold on, folks. Dunkery Beacon is now coming into view. So that's Robin Howe Hill there. There's one in the middle. There's three of them. And then over there, I'll do it quickly. That's Dungry Beacon, everyone, with the car on the top. And I've stood on that, but I'm not doing it today. Over and out for now, everyone. I'll come back when I'm a bit further up the track. Weather looks a bit dodgy. It's closing in. It's supposed to be brilliant by tomorrow, though. It's supposed to be brilliant. My Quantock Hills are right over there, by the way. Right over there. Right over there is Quantox. Dalbra, Hill Fort and all that. That's the Quantock house. Not far. And of course where I live is way over there. So we got Gorse and Heather out. Wind's dropped a bit just for a second till I get round that corner. Gorse and Heather. And lots of grey, dodgy clouds. But when you like to explore and you like the countryside, the only thing I don't like is um, thunder and lightning. Um, it feels too blowy to me for any of that. And it's supposed to be getting better tomorrow, so... And by this evening as well. 
but I've wanted to do a bit more exploring of this. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Actually, I can see somebody now. Let me get up here. Yeah, I can see somebody for the first time. Not alone. Not alone. Over and out, everyone, a minute.